The Controlled Environment Agriculture Research Complex is a $35 million project for our college. I'll summarize it as a very large, modern, state-of-the-art greenhouse complex. It consists of a headhouse, a research greenhouse, and a production greenhouse. We are finishing up all the mechanical, electrical, plumbing systems in the building, and putting on the final touches of finishes. In the headhouse, we've started paint, flooring, and then in the research greenhouse, we're just finishing up most of the mechanical systems, hanging up the CO2 monitors, hanging up the fin tubes for heating, um, getting the irrigation boom all set. It's not like your typical construction project. Um, most of these are pre-manufactured. The second one, the roofing material, comes from the Netherlands. Um, so it's, it's a really specialized kind of project. So this is a one-of-a-kind or a first-of-a-kind in the U.S. So there's work that will happen both here at Waterman and at the Innovation District that's actually synergistic. We'll be doing we'll do interdisciplinary science that cuts across fields in our college like horticulture and crop science and plant pathology, but also computer science, engineering, robotics, and, and those sorts of things. The university has a focus on artificial intelligence, and it could mean uh, machine learning or sensing using cameras, for example, or drones to sense crop health, the way that we recycle nutrients and can better utilize water in a greenhouse complex like it, this. And then the second one that I'll mention I think is really important is the area of the university called Foods for Health. Growing foods in here to improve the nutrient content of foods that could then go into human clinical trials. A research-focused facility that will really put us on the map in terms of being cutting edge for controlled environment agriculture research.